and I think we got it this time, Meredith. Yeah. Ah, this is awesome. <laughs> so we are here with Meredith Sims, and she has graced us with her presence, so she's going to give us a couple minutes to talk about this upcoming show that she's doing. So what, <clears throat> what I know is that uh, Meredith has planned um, the craziest year to, to be in a show. <laughs> <laughs> as the rest of the crew that are going to be on stage on Saturday. So please do share with us what made you or how have you gotten to the point that you could actually be competing in a show in the middle of all this craziness? Well, I was supposed to do the show on March 28th. Okay. So I was all ready to go. I had dropped all the weight. Like, you know, all the training before dieting ah. and whatnot. And I think it was like 10 days before. And obviously that was like the heat of the pandemic. So we could not do it. Wow. So that was a real bummer. So then after that, I was like, all right, well, I don't know if there's going to be a show in May. So I just kept my weight like a good, you know, level so that I didn't have to lose too much more weight if I, if there was going to be a show in May. Right. So I just kind of like plateaued and I just kept working out. I kept dieting, kept being good. And then there was like nothing. And then this show finally was like confirmed and I was like, thank God. <laughs> so very happy. I've been like prepping all year, literally. Yes. I believe you. I do <laughs> believe you because people start, you know, maybe six, maybe even eight months out and then who knew that the pandemic was going to hit? So it's like, wait, what? So yep. you were ready for the beginning of the season, which should have started in like March. And, and yes. then it was April and, and then it was May and June <laughs> and July. <laughs> yeah, a good, a nice seven month prep. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm asking everyone and I ask you the same, of course, what has going through this pandemic and especially going through this pandemic and still trying to stay in shape taught you about yourself? Um, it just taught me what I, what I thought about was it taught me to just always be ready for change because literally ever since this happened, everything's been changing daily, whether at work or in personal life or anything. So I'm just like, nothing's going to stay the same. You can't get comfortable. It's just, just get ready to change and adapt and just go with it. Well, clearly you've made it to this day. So I, I think you've, you've figured out the formula for changing and adapting to the changes <laughs> for sure. Um, yes. How about for other people? What have you learned about other people during this pandemic? Well, during the whole pandemic, I was working like physically on site, like in a hospital, but I wasn't wow. actually like inpatient care. Okay. But still, I was, I was there of hearing everything that's going on so for me it's this is like a really positive thing is that um i just thought that a lot of people were so willing to like step out of their comfort zones to help and to do things that they wouldn't normally do and i thought that was awesome yes so we have as opposed to get like a lot of people were scared but they're like no you know what you need me i'll help you here so it was really great oh that's kind of awesome yeah <laughs> all right <laughs> So, you made it this far, the show is coming up on Saturday, how psyched are you, what do you plan on doing besides, you know, a happy dance when you get there, I mean, <laughs> how does that feel that it's finally, okay, I'm going to do this show now? I am just so happy that it's actually here, and this, like I just said before, like this week has been trying with the weather issues and whatnot, and like, things just going on all year long, and I'm just like, there's just a couple more days, let's yes. just get to Saturday, but I am so excited, I'm so excited to see everybody else, and I think I'm we all feel for the you. same way. Yes, I'm definitely excited <laughs> for you. So, have you selected where you will be dining after the show? I don't know about after the show, but I do know the next time I go to the beach, I'm a pliable. <laughs> when you go to the beach, you're gonna what? Get a pliable. Oh, okay! So is that going to be like why the, I really want one so bad. That's there's okay. so much sugar. <laughs> so is that going to be like the day after the day right the, on the Sunday? Yeah, we'll find possibly. you at the beach. Mm -hmm. It'll either be the next day or the week after, but I'm sure I'll eat something <laughs> else before then, but that's what I really want. <laughs> that's that's okay. She's just I just want that. That's all. Most people are telling me they want like the whole left side of the menu. So I think that you're very restrained. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know it's good. I know if I eat like that, it'll blow up my stomach, so I can't be like going crazy. <laughs> That's true. That's true. All right. So, is there anything else you want to share with us today? 
about your journey so far, about this crazy pandemic, about anything? Um, I think just for me personally, like the fact that what really kept me going through the whole thing was that I kept my schedule. So I always worked out in the morning. So I would get up really early, go to the gym, come back home, shower, go to work. So okay. instead I'd, I'd still get up early go downstairs and work out and do the best I could right and just just found all different ways of exercising like all kinds of things and I have like a nice repertoire of things I could do now but I feel like keeping my schedule that helped me like my sand sure and the fact that I could actually like get out of my house was great so, <laughs> so what are some of the makeshift things that you're using to train with well I had a couple sets of dumbbells and um, I have like a barbell with some weights. I have okay. like a fitness ball. I have the, the bands. I have um, the resistant bands and right. like ankle weights. So I okay. do a lot of ankle weight things. But That's it's like good. it's a lot of like, you know, you have to do like the slow pulse thing. And it's yes. like a lot more of this, a lot more reps to get the feels. <laughs> Most definitely. Well, I'm excited for you. And we'll definitely, you know, look to see you on Saturday and Thank just hang so. in there. We just got two more days to get through. <laughs> yeah, so exciting. And you will be there. All right. Well, thank you so much for doing the interview. Thank you. All right. Enjoy the rest of your day. You too. Bye. All right. Bye-bye.